Welcome back, everybody, to the Carolina Panthers franchise here on Madden 20. As we head into week number 13, about to take on the 4-7 and seven Washington Redskins. We're sitting at 9-2, and two, and you got to be careful with this game because you can see in week 14 who we take on, the Atlanta Falcons. So we got to definitely take care of business at home. Uh, first thing I wanna, definitely want to talk about here um, is I have recorded this game before the patch. So this pat, the patch just came out. Um, I recorded this game beforehand. So this is the issue I'm going to have right now going forward as this game is just don't even worry really. Um, so I, I pretty much have decided that I'm going to restart the franchise, but not fully. Um, I'm going to restart it and try to get the records as close as I possibly can off camera, you know, just try to force wins and do what I can due to the fact that I can't believe they didn't put in um, the X-Factors for Offensive Linemen into the uh, existing franchises. So I want those in there and I'm going to have to restart this franchise. Trust me, you won't miss anything. We're going to have the records pretty much the same thing. We're going to go straight where we are. So it's pretty much going to be exact same. The only thing that's going to be, you know, kind of crappy is the stats are going to be way off. They're going to be completely different. But still, I want those X factors in there. So um, next game, obviously, will be kind of in the newer franchise. The stats will be different, but the records, as far as I can get, will be as close as possible. Um, so hopefully uh, that's what we had to do. And... You know, it kind of sucks, but still, as you can see, Christian McCaffrey is back as we head into this game. We're right there with Dallas, 9-2. and two. The other thing I was just talking about, so the ties I can't really do, obviously, in, uh, in those. So uh, the records might be a little bit different. But here we go in week number 13, taking on this Skins team. And they're going to be off to a good return. That's going to be up to around the 23-yard line. Not used to really even seeing a return. Usually the kicks are out of the end zone. But here comes Case Keenum. So obviously no Alex Smith for this Washington team. Dwayne Haskins is hurt. So Keenum has to fill in and, and he's doing a good job. 16 touchdowns, just one interception. He is looking pretty good. And so we're going to have to try to shut down this team. They're looking for the upset. Third and four to start this ball game. That's going to be a catch. And a first down and more up to the 49-yard line. So 20 yards there. And a good start here for this Washington team. So up to the 49, second and nine. Uh, empty set here for Keenum. In the pocket looking, going up top. Eric Reed's going to knock that one away from Chris Thompson. Nice job there. Interesting sending Chris Thompson on a go route. Third and nine. Keenum going underneath. That's going to be caught by Jordan Reed. And Reed comes up hurt. Looks like he is holding his uh, midsection there. But he's going to be short of the first down. And they're going to try about a 60-yard field goal. I'm not even sure what the wind is here. So the kick is up, and that is not even going to be close. Looks like it was short as well. So we will take the field position, start this one at the 50. And let's see if we can get off to a really fast start here to really uh, put away this Washington team. So first and 10, here he is. He is back finally. Christian McCaffrey. He has been gone for about eight weeks. We'll see the stats here. The offense, 20 almost less yards, two more less points. We've lost twice with them, without him. So uh, it's good to have him back. The, the, the running backs have done a real, really fantastic job. I thought Jordan Scarlett was you know, going to step up, but obviously he got hurt as well. So I can't wait to get him back as, as well. Uh, Corey Clement, not too bad. So they've done a job, but obviously not Christian McCaffrey as Cam with a good run there. So now first and 10, Cam looking in the pocket. He's going to try a nice timing throw there to Curtis Samuel, who hangs on. Nice coverage there by Rogers Cromartie, but still Samuel with the catch. First down, I love to see that. That's showing definitely improvement there for Curtis Samuel. You want him to be like a very top, very good receiver, as that's going to be McCaffrey with the run. He is up to the three-yard line. Give him a first down. Good to see that. So now first and goal from the three. So hopefully we can take advantage here. Second and goal now from the six as a, we had a three-yard loss and a run. We'll go to McCaffrey up the middle again, and he's got... Just surrounded by three skins there, not really getting anything. So it brings up a third and goal now from the stick. Six, still a pretty good drive. Let's see if we can put this one into the end zone. So Cam looking, watch out, blitz coming, and he is going to go down. Quentin Dunbar comes in for the sack. Man, sending nickel blitz there on the six, that is dangerous. But we couldn't get anything. At least we get three. A little bit disappointing, obviously. Three points on the board. So here we go. First and 10 from the 35. See what our defense. And there's Adrian Peterson, the ageless wonder, as he breaks the tackle. And then he is off. Doesn't obviously have the speed, but 
Man, that's Bradbury there lucky to bring him down. But 39 up to the 39 yard line. What a gain there uh, from Adrian Peterson. Did not expect that. So second and five. Keenum back. Nice throw underneath the coverage there. The dots in first down. Puts that one on a dot up to the 22 yard line. And Washington now driving. So going to hand this off counter to Thompson. Thompson's going to be brought down there by the tackle by Trey Boston. But it's going to be. Looks like half the distance of the goal with the uh, face mask penalty. That's going to put him down to the 10. So now Washington in some business here. Second and goal from the 7. Keenum from the gun. Looking. He's going to have. That's going to be Paul Richardson with the catch and coverage. And that's going to be a touchdown. He had Eric Reed and Dante Jackson all over him. But a perfect placement throw there by Case Keenum. Richardson comes up with a catch. Touchdown. And Washington has the lead here with 3.58 in the first quarter. So, obviously early on, let's see how we can improve here. So McCaffrey somehow jukes around <laughs> Rogers Cromartie there. That was a very dangerous throw, but comes up with a catch. Has the first down, making a nice move up to the 39-yard line. So first and 10. We're going to hand off there to Cameron Artis Payne, another guy that's really actually not that bad. I didn't really give him that much of a chance, and he's really, you know, show me something. I really, I really enjoy all the running backs in this backfield. Um, they, I've really enjoyed all of them. I have no problem with them. They're all, I think they can all turn into something, obviously. So it's really cool to see. But this guy, McCaffrey, he's something special as he gets away from Ryan Kerrigan. Somehow, once again, just dumping him off and he makes a play. First down up to the 35. So Cam in the pocket. Good protection. Looking, throwing. Has DJ Moore for the catch. And Moore's going to be all the way down to the 11, 24 yards. Nice protection, allowing Cam to sit back there. That's all you got to do offensive line. Just give Cam just a few extra seconds, and he can make a play just like that. But Torrey Smith can't hang on to it. Gets absolutely laid out. That's going to be incomplete. We'll bring up a third and five. Cam, time in the pocket, makes the throw to Christian McCaffrey for the score. That is actually his first touchdown of the season. Obviously got hurt in game number four. Yeah, and didn't have a touchdown yet, but that's his first real touchdown there. We take the lead right back. Perfect drive. Cam getting into a rhythm, and I'm all about it. Just give him some time in the pocket, and he let him go to work. DJ Moore stepping up. Um, everybody looking good here so far, so we can continue this the rest of this game as Chris Thompson gets loose there for about 13, and that's a first down up to the, and now up to the 41. So third and five, Keenum, pressure coming, blitzing. That's going to be Eric Reed off the edge for the sack. About time. Just letting him sit back there and find his receivers. Not this time. Eric Reed comes up with the sack. Get the ball back as we head in now to the second quarter. We're at the 30-yard line, so second and five. Cam, will watch out. Blitz coming, and yeah, he's going to go down. Not really could do anything there. Montez Sweat, the draft pick this year. Uh, man, that's a sack there. Pretty poor blocking there in the edge, but still. Still got a third and 14. Uh, it's a third and long, but we still have a chance here. It's Cam looking, trying to find something, anything. Nobody open downfield. He's just going to dump this one off to Curtis Samuel. Just gets rid of it there catch but still well short of the first down as you can see down the field nobody open there good coverage by Washington and uh, they force a punt so give Washington some credit there it's just staying in this game playing tough not going away and you can see Dotson with the reception I mean Keenum's looking good I mean he's having some time in the pocket but you can see in the stats this year 16 touchdowns one interceptions he's playing Outstanding football, really. Got to give credit to Case Keenum trying to take advantage and maybe get a contract for next year. Seems like he's played almost in every team. You know, he, he's okay, but just teams don't believe in him. So right now, Paul Richardson with the catch. They're all up to the 36-yard line, and Keenum is kind of ripping us up here in this second quarter. So hand off to Thompson. Thompson with the run with that speed getting through the hole there. That's another first down of the 25-yard line. So can we stop this Washington team? Did not expect this. Obviously, only a four-win team. First and ten. Thompson, Luke Keekley lights him up. Ball comes loose. But Washington will recover at the 25, it seems like. I can't catch a break on those. Seems like if we fumble it, it's definitely going to be recovered by the defense, not with us. So Keenum on a second and ten. Looking back, he's going to fire up. And that is going to be caught by Jeremy Sprinkle. The, or is that Vernon Davis? Vernon Davis with the catch. Down to the three. So Washington in some business here. First and goal now from the three. They're going to hand off. That's going to be Darius Geis, and he's going nowhere. Getting stopped. And Keekley's injured. Oh, no. 
That's one of those guys you do not want hurt. It just changes everything. Second and goal. Washington throws wide open. That's going to be Vernon Davis, and he's going to be down at the two. See if we can get some news here on Keekly. I'm hoping he is okay. Elbow bursitis. Okay, he will return. You can wipe the eyebrow there. We're okay. We're good. He is not injured for long. He'll be back. Third and goal from the two. Hand off to Thompson up the middle, and he's going to be stuffed there by Shaquem Griffin. Nice stop. We do not allow Washington to get a touchdown. We'll hold him to three. Tied up 10. 526 left here in this first half. So we'll start at the 29. Cam dropping back. Blitz coming. That's going to be Godwin with the catch. His first NFL career catch. You saw we brought him off the practice squad. Really wanted to see what he can do. Rookie receiver out of Georgia. Really wanted to give him a shot. Comes up with a nice catch there. And that's what you want to see. I never thought he was that bad at Georgia. Really not... You know, good possession receiver, and kind of maybe that's what we need across the middle. Obviously, he doesn't have the height or the size, but still, decent speed. Um, can catch those tough ones across the middle, so that's, you know, good signs there. So, first and 10 up to the 43-yard line. Cam rolling out, looking. Watch out, blitz coming. Monte Nicholson's going to bring him down. Probably should have threw that one away, but still, man, Nicholson just shot out of a gun there, and he was just there in two seconds to bring down Cam. Second and 20 from the 47. He is looking, has plenty of time to throw, and he's going to find his receiver. That's going to be DJ Moore. So at least we'll get back. And DJ Moore comes up hurt. Oh, no. Another one you do not want to see go down. So hopefully he's okay. It looks like he was holding his chest, maybe his arm. So they're trying to test out his strength there on that maybe bicep there. So we'll have to see what happens. Third and three now from the 36. We're going to hand off to McCaffrey up the middle. He's got a... Good run, broke through the tackle of Ryan Kerrigan. First down up to the 29-yard line. Good comeback so far for McCaffrey. Seven carries, 45 yards. Couple catches as that receiving touchdown. And now he has a good catch here as that's going to be down all the way to the 12. Gain of 17 for McCaffrey. So the offense rolling here. Hopefully we can uh, you know, come through with seven. You see McCaffrey's in the zone. So Bruce Shoulder there for D.J. Moore. So that is good news as well. He'll be back. Uh, won't miss, you know, any extended time. First and ten, dump this one off to McCaffrey. Makes a spin move, makes another move, and he's going to try to get down. Will he have a first down down to the two? No, he, uh, yes, he will. So we got goal to go now. Second and goal from the four. 120 left in this first half. We'll wait the toss for McCaffrey. Breaks off the tackle, and he's going to be in for the score. So Christian McCaffrey with his first rushing touchdown of the season. Second touchdown of the ball game, and we have the 17 to 10 lead here, breaks off the tackle, gets in for the score. Nice drive by the offense. And let's see what the defense can do here with 51 seconds. We'll see if Washington, what Washington is going to do. Keenum's been pretty good here in this first half. Keenum out to the side, is going to find Josh Dotson there. Catch 47, 16 of 18. He is just putting these on the dots, that is for sure. So 42 seconds left. They're actually going to run the ball to Chris Thompson. So interesting decision there. They're going to hurry it up. I'm surprised they ran the ball there. Maybe just trying to pick up a first down. But third and three, 20 seconds left now. Keenum throwing, and that's going to be incomplete. Just runs out of room there. And that will be the end of the first half. So Washington tried, but couldn't get anything. But we go into the halftime with the lead, 17-10. to 10. We'll have to find a way to really shut down Case Keenum because he has been excellent so far. As we head around the league, and let's take a look at some of these games here. So we go uh, divisional team Tampa Bay. They are winning at the moment, beating Jacksonville, who's uh, trying to compete for one of those wild card spots in the uh, AFC. There's so many teams there to compete in. As this is a big one here, New Orleans, Atlanta. And New Orleans has won. So that is big. That's going to keep New Orleans' season going as they're going to try to compete for a wild card as well. As we now head into... This second half, we received the ball first. Got to say, that was a very good half there from Cam. He was outstanding. It's it's really helping out, too, that we have McCaffrey. So hopefully we can keep this up. First and 10, Cam looking in the pocket, throwing. He's going to have Curtis Samuel, but Samuel's absolutely laid out there. Cannot hang on to the ball. That's going to be incomplete. And right away, we got a third and 10. Cam looking in the pocket, trying to find something. That's going to be Greg Olson. Perfect throw and co really good coverage. And great job by Olson coming up with a catch. That was fantastic. Moving up to the 40-yard line now. First and 10. Back to McCaffrey on the ground. Has a hole there. Breaks off a tackle. Picks up around 8. And he's up to the 48-yard line. And now we got ourselves a third and two. Look at this blitz. Jeez. All-out blitz. 
There was two open guys there. If that throw is somewhat on the money to DJ Moore, it's a touchdown. Just could not do it. Cam backing off his back foot. Just, you know, not much you can do about it. They brought everybody. They brought the house there. Just didn't work out. We had a chance there for a touchdown maybe, but we'll have to punt. So missed opportunity there. And let's see what our defense could do. As Keenum just coming right back, he's going to find Dotson there on the comeback. First down up to the 29-yard line. So, uh, so far not having hit. You know, we got to get some more pressure on Keenum. That is for sure. So right there, yeah, good pressure, at least getting in his face, making him get rid of the ball as Dante Jackson comes up with a nice tackle. And it's going to bring up a third and eight. We got to get bring, get some pressure on this guy. As Keenum, you can see, just sitting in the pocket. There we go. Finally, Luke Keekley comes through with the sack. There we go. So obviously, once you're going to have to look in the offseason. I know Brian Burns has been, you know, he's still a young guy, a rookie. So hopefully we can maybe look at bringing some more, you know, productive pass rushers here. You know, to me, the more pass rushers, you can't have enough. Same with corners in this day and age in the NFL. You can't have enough corners. You can't have enough pass rushers, really. As Montez Sweat, speaking of, comes through, comes up with the sack, his second of the ball game, and it's going to bring up a third and 21. So this pressure kind of wreaking havoc here so far in this second half. So third and 21, Cam looking. He's going to dump this one off to Greg Olson, just trying to pick up what we can to kind of flip field position. Going to be well short of the first down, but still we'll pick up 16, punt the ball back to Washington, and they will start their drive here from the eight. So we'll have to make them, make them go uh, a long way here. Second and 10, Dotson breaking off a tackle, but nice job by Bradbury going to bring him down there. It's going to bring up a third and four here from the 15. So Keenum looking, going up top, and that's going to be almost intercepted by Dante Jackson. Oh, man. Thought he had it there. Still, nice job knocking that one away, forcing a punt. And let's see what our offense can do. We've been a little stagnant here in this uh, second half as Montez Sweat is just dominating there. Just brings down McCaffrey, has the two sacks. And it's going to bring up a third down here. So McCaffrey in the backfield. Blitz coming. Cam looking across the middle. That's going to be knocked away from Samuel. Actually from Godwin. So, yeah, I think the pressure's starting to get in their head a little bit. Um, nobody really opened down the field. Give credit to Washington's defense. They are starting to clamp up. And now Chris Thompson is off to the races here. Can Bradbury catch him? Oh, man, he can. Oh, man. Keekly had a chance in the middle, but he kind of cut back real quick, and then he found the hole, and Chris Thompson, a good run there, and just like that, Washington down to the 28-yard line as we got three minutes left here in this third. So play action, Keenum looking right over the top of Keekly. Paul Richardson, perfect throw, perfect catch, first down, down to the one. Washington looking to try to tie this ball game up. So first and goal from the one. They're going to hand off to Thompson in a counter, and it works out perfectly. Touchdown, Washington. This is something else. we got a tie ball game here in the third quarter. This is the NFL, any given Sunday. I mean, it doesn't matter what the records are. You know, they're all pros. So, you know, we got to do our business here. And as Cam keeps it there with the run, he picks up nine. So we got to get this offense going. Hand off to McCaffrey just enough as Jonathan Allen brings him down. But that's going to be a first down to the 38-yard line as this might be the last play before we go into the fourth quarter. we got a third and seven. So Cam looking, trying to find somebody, has some time, steps up in the pocket. It's going to find Torrey Smith who dives forward. I was hoping he'd just get down there. But dives forward first down to the 47-yard line, and that will bring us into the fourth quarter, all tied up here at 17. What a... Interesting game we got going on here in week 13. So second and nine, Cam looking. Plenty of time to throw. Has guys open downfield, and we'll find one of them, and that's going to be Curtis Samuel there, first down. He's up to the 31-yard line. Here's third catch of this ball game. And, you know, rather not settle for three, rather have a few, uh, touchdown here. Is McCaffrey going to break through, and he picks up around eight? You know, you always want to score touchdowns, obviously, but the way Keenum and this Redskins offense is rolling, we need scores, and that was a dangerous pass over Monte Nicholson, but it comes up. Nice catch, nice throw, and also add the uh, half-the-distance base mask penalty there, and we're down now to the six-yard line, and now down to the two, second and goal. McCaffrey in the backfield, run, and he's going nowhere as Matthew Iodinus is going to come up with the tackle there, knock us back to the six. So third and goal from the six is our red zone run game, not the greatest. Obviously don't have the, the best offensive line, but third and goal. And speaking of, and there's another sack, and guess who it is? Montez Sweat, his third of the ball game. 
And we're going to have to settle for three. We take the lead, 20-17. to 17, And what can our defense can do here against this Washington offense? First and 15. Going to dump this one off. And the ball is loose. Keekly knocked it loose. But Chris Thompson, man on the spot there to recover it. And keeps this Washington drive alive. So third and 13 from the 21. Keenum looking in the pockets, going across wide open as Josh Dotson there in the zone. No pressure at all. First down up to the 41-yard line. 7-18 left in this ball game. So from an empty set, Keenum looking, going up top, and that's going to be intercepted by James Bradbury. Coming up huge there. Man coverage. Excellent, excellent play by Bradbury. His third pick of the season. Exactly what you want to see. This is why we. I'm thinking, yeah, we got to bring him back. Resign Bradbury for sure. Um, he's been playing outstanding football this season. And here we go. DJ Moore making some moves. He juked under two guys. Makes his spin move up to the 48-yard line. That's what these receivers can do. Obviously, the athleticism, athleticism and speed. Fantastic. So can we, you know, put this game away here? Second and seven. Cam, watch out, Matt Montez Sweat. Is that who it is this time, or is that Ryan Anderson? Ryan Anderson with the sack. So that left side is just getting obliterated. You, look at this blocking. Just, yeah, that's terrible. That's just letting him go. So that's going to bring up a third and 20. Cam looking, trying to find anything. Can't find anything downfield. Just throws it away. Got to feel bad for Cam. Just, you know. You have about a split second to throw before somebody is on your back. Um, he's been playing well. Just offensive line not really helping him out. But here we go. Now we got some pressure situation. <laughs> Keekly just laying him out. Not allowing Williams to catch that one. So third and one. Can we get a stop right off the bat here? As they're going to hand off to Thompson up the middle. He has the room. Watch out and more. And Finally down at the 39, gain of 23. Man, that could have been a lot worse as he's over 100 yards rushing. He has been outstanding in this ball game. So 423 left. Washington only down by three. They're going to dump this one off underneath there to Reed. Miss tackle, and he's got the first down of the 50. So they're very close to field goal range here to try to tie this up. And you know they want the score and the, the win. As Keenum, oh, that was interesting. Miss throw there. Haven't seen that all game. That's going to be incomplete and brings up a third and six. So Keenum from the 46 looking in the pocket is going to finally run out of time as Brian Burns comes up with a huge sack. Good job by the coverage downfield sack. And I'm not sure if they're going to go for it or punt it. They're going to punt it. So they're going to try to rely on their defense here to get a stop and get the ball back. So can our offense come through here? Cam looking is going to find that's going to be Thomas with the catch. He breaks the tackle and he's down at the 44 yard line. Excellent play. That'll bring it down to the two minute warning. So now if we can get maybe one to two first downs here, we can end this ball game. Second and eight. Washington's already used one timeout. McCaffrey with the carry. Stopped second timeout. So now third and five. We're going to go for it here. We're going to try to pass it, get a first down, and end this ball game. So third and five, Cam looking, pocket's going to find, that's going to be Torrey Smith, catch, first down, huddle, held on to the ball after getting laid out, and that is going to be the ball game as we can just get into victory formation, kneel this one away, and that's going to be a 20-17 to victory, tough one here in week 13, but we come away with the victory and go to 10 and 2 on the season. Man, give Washington credit. They came in, you know, their season's over. You know, they're not really competing for the division anymore. Dallas has pretty much ran away with that one, and they're not really in the wild card hunt. You know, you this is a game hopefully, you know, you're like, "Oh, you know, we got this 4 and 7." But these are the games in, in real if you look at, you know, in the NFL schedule. These are the games where you're thinking, "Oh, we got this." And then right when you think you got this, these are the games you get. And I'm just glad we still came out with a victory. It's really good to have Christian McCaffrey back. Um, I was actually, you know, other than the offensive line problems, the offense to me performed really well. Cam looked good. Receivers looked good. So can't really complain about that. Defense, uh, just surprised by Case Keenum. He was on point. Thompson just had a few huge runs. Uh, yeah, Peterson went down early. He just had that one real run. But still, defense came through when he needed to. I mean, he only allowed 17 points. So it's not like, you know, we were really bad. We only allowed 17. We got, you know, the turnovers when we needed it. 
Bradbury with the huge interception uh, to really stop some drives there. So, good job, good victory. I will take it. So, after this, we got some more upgrades. Brian Burns comes up with an upgrade. He obviously, had the huge sack there at the end of the game. Um, you go power rusher there, or do you continue with speed rusher? I know power rushers are there. It's way down. Oh, man, what do we do here? I think we'll just go, yeah. Go speed rusher. Two finesse, one pursuit, one tackle. All right, we'll take that. Bruce Irvin has a skill point. Um, you know, probably, I'm not sure if we'll bring him back after the end of the year. But maybe we'll just do power rusher there to help that out. So Bruce Irvin is going to get plus one awareness, plus two in power moves. And then we got Ian Thomas who came up with that great catch at the end. I actually like Ian Thomas. He's performed really well this season. I think we'll just continue with vertical threat. And make him that you know speedy receiver with Greg Olson. How long? How, how long is he gonna last? Really? But look at this: plus four awareness, one and catch and traffic looseness, pass block, pass block power, run block power, short route and spin move plus two. So that was a great upgrade. As we're gonna spend some coach XP here as well. Really haven't shown this. We did get the master trade negotiator, negotiator, and expert scouting. So right now I think we're gonna go to maybe some player progression. Yes, let's get some offensive line pair. Um, you know, boost. We need that for sure. Um, and that'll pretty much spend our points. So we'll need that for offensive line. That's going to be a focus coming up in the offseason. Take a look more at scouting. You can see what we've done here so far. Uh, looking at left tackles, we're going to try to scout as many guys as we possibly can. Um, this will be probably the focus in the draft. You need to boost up the offensive line. You know, allow Cam to, uh, you know, as he's going to get older, obviously. He's 30 right now. He'll get him 31 next year. You know, help out Cam, and that way he's not getting absolutely destroyed back there every game. And uh, that'll really help out extend his career, that is for sure. So next week, we take on Atlanta. Now, right now, the record says 7-4-1, but as I said earlier in this video, that's going to change a little bit. That is going to be a little bit different game due to the fact that I restarted the franchise. The records can't really get the ties in there, so the records will be just a tad different. I'll try to get it as close as I possibly can. But still, it'll probably be pretty much the same, but like I said, the stats will be a little bit different. It's just a shame that, you know, EA and Madden could not get uh, the, the X Factor for offensive linemen into the existing franchises. That's really a shame, and it just sucks that I had to restart and do that, but still, got, I wanted them in there, and I just, you got to do what you got to do. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.